Hey guys, this is Hero, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the three major traps of the ego, or the three stories the ego tries to recycle in our head over and over that has the most weight on our actions and decisions. Uh, as you guys may notice, um, I'm inside today. There's a storm going out outside, but I thought of this idea and quickly just decided to jot, jot it down and um, share a few details with you guys so that you guys have it. So the first thing is, if I had this, I would be happy. This is probably the most major trap the ego tries to throw for anybody um, under the age of like 50 or 60. So what does this mean? If I had this, well, this could entail uh, one of three things um, that I've kind of constructed really quickly right now. Um, that could be an item. So an item could be like cars, clothes, uh, jewelry, house, stuff like that. Something that if I had this, if I had this nicer car, nicer house, better jewelry, whatever, if I had this, uh, this could also be a person. So if I had a better, you know, relationship, uh, you know, better looking partner, whatever like that, I would be happy. Um, this is never true. Um, true happiness, like I discussed in my last video, it's internal based off of, you know, kind of your overall gratitude for life. It's never dependent on anything external that you do not have or do have. So the first one was um, an item. The second one uh, is an experience. So if I had this experience, so this could mean like a place you travel. Uh, th that could be like an experience, like whether it be flying to like some exotic resort or like a road trip to some mountain somewhere, that could be one thing. Uh, an experience could also be like an event, like um, like a wedding. I just came back from an engagement um or like a carnival something like that something something fun like an event that that could be an experience or an experience could also be like like just like an activity you partake in with someone you with some people or even by yourself so an experience could be like you know the experience of like you know driving like a really fast car or like um playing cards with like friends or like gambling or like doing substances any any experience that you find fun in life or appealing uh, the next and the last one, if I had this, would be like uh, like status. So status would be like if I had, you know, this position at my job or, you know, however you want to identify yourself uh, in the society or in the community. If you just had that label, you know, attached to you or just that perceived label or that, you know, that, that label that you think you have, if you really thought you had it like like you know the label being good looking or something like that if you had this you would be happy again that's not true um even if you do have this there's always going to be someone that, uh you know with like a higher level than you whether it comes to like money or looks or something like that um so you basically just want to kind of be content and grateful of where you are and just understand that even if you do get these things you're not it's not going to truly increase your happiness OK, it's just going to give you a very quick temporary ego boost. And it's actually going to increase your anxiety because you're going to be afraid of losing this thing. If you if you, if you do get it. and if you do lose this thing, you're going to have uh, probably depression to deal with after that, assuming that you don't do the inner work. So just avoid this trap. Um, I have some videos up right now on how to do on how to truly be happy so that you fall into this trap a little bit less. Um, the second thing is, so this is, if I had this, I would be happy. This is, if I have this, I can't be happy. So if I have or have had this. So what does that mean by that? This basically has to do with any frustrations that you perceive in your life. So this could be like um, people at work, like coworkers or bosses that uh, kind of annoy you, that you don't really like. Uh, you know, you kind of find that it's uh, not making you as happy. They're making, they're making you less happy. This could also be like friends and family or something like that. Um, it's supposed to be like problems, just any frustrations, um, like your car having problems, your house having problems, so, st stuff like that, or like something that you had. So this would be like experiences, like, uh, you, you know, f frustrating old relationships, but just, just any frustrations in the past that are affecting you now or stuff that's going on now. That's affecting you now that your ego is trying to trick you. Hey, because you because you had this, or because you have this right now, you can't be happy. Uh, this, like I said, as you guys may guess, almost not true. Everyone has their own problems in life. No one's life is perfect. It's going to try to trick you. Hey, if you have this, you'll be happy. Or because you have this, you can't be happy. Just understand that true happiness, internal, it's never 
dependent on anything external that's happening to you or external that's not happening to you. So that's that. Um, the last one is because I don't have this anymore, I can't be happy. So like I said in a previous video, um, your ego likes to latch on to things a lot. Um, so let's go back to the three things I mentioned, experiences, identity, and items. If you lose any of these, your ego is going to try to trick you that, hey, you know, you, you can't be happy anymore. That's it. You lost your car. You lost your nice job. You, you, you lost your, you know, your hot girlfriend or boyfriend. That's it. It's over. Um, that's not true. Like we said, right? Um, your ego is going to always try to play one of these three games, okay? To try to trick you, uh, try to get you more to your lower self and not have you, you know, as as grateful for life as it is or not have you as positive. Um, some things we can do actually just in general to avoid kind of fuel to these fires is avoid some of the movies and shows because they, they have this perfect life or if they don't have this perfect life it gets you know figured out just like that um that, that's very unrealistic so just avoid that because the more you watch them the more you ingrain in your mind that you should have them so also social media um avoid that because literally each time you look at a post or something like that you know someone's not looking the way that they usually do in real life or something's unrealistic about someone's lifestyle you know so someone will post a picture looking a certain way when that's never really how they look in real life or you know they only post you know the best of the best of what's going on in your their life and I, and of course that we acknowledge that consciously but at a subconscious level it's it's affecting us very negatively and it's harming us a lot so if you want to improve your mental health and that involves kind of, you know, dealing with these three stories or your ego in general a lot, you're going to want to also avoid social media and also avoid, um, you know, any, any negative people or any toxic people in your life. Um, they're going to enhance this probably the most because in your real life, you know, you're dealing with your real emotions, you know, real physical contact or real, you know, speaking about you know stuff that's going to affect you you know directly so avoid negative people um and yeah that's basically it so avoid social media and tv um avoid negative people oh and also the one thing about negative people is that um they're probably the the, the most hardest to deal with because like you can just turn off the tv or just turn off social media and that's that but if you try to get away from someone you know who's really negative or really toxic just the way they operate that they could put you in a position where that, you know, their toxicity or negativity increases as you kind of pull back. I'm going to make a separate video on what to deal with that at a later time. But just for right now, just understand that, um, you know, everything, everything in nature, when, um, you know, when, whenever you're trying to get from place A to place B, there's always going to be a, a you know a period of change, and that change uh, may take some adapting to. And if that you know if that if that includes you know with certain people that um, you have to deal with them in a way that you know you don't really want to or you feel like you, sh you shouldn't have to, uh, just understand that this is all part of the natural process, and that you know you're on your way to better places, hopefully, especially at a mental level. And like I said, no, regardless of what happens on the external with people and stuff. Your internal state is what matters the most. So hope you guys um, enjoyed this uh, quick video, hopefully. I hope I hope it was quick. Um, then wrote down all three of these so you can just uh, take a picture or something and just, um, you know, read each of these one by one without having to watch the whole video over again. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.